Did you grow up in Canada? Were you alive in the 90s? Did you love YTV? F yeah, you did. All right, hey everybody, welcome to You, Me, and YTV. As you might notice right now, it looks professional. That's because the nice people from What's on the Shelf have come by and helped us out today. Here we are, live in Shea Geeks. Not really live, but we're alive. <laughs> and it's uh, been 20 years, and uh, here's a cast of Radioactive. Yay! That's right. 20 years, I know, it's pretty crazy. Let's start off today with first impressions of each other. I know what you uh, all get along like now, but Ryan, you come in in the second season, the band's already formed, they already have their inside jokes. What was your first impression of these? Oh, two? first impressions from back then. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Gosh, I mean, that was that was like like two weeks ago. How am I supposed <laughs> to remember two weeks ago? Sorry to interrupt this fascinating owl discussion, but why did you interview everybody, George? Oh, it's for this thing I'm doing, it's... Who are you? <laughs> I'm Roger Richards. I'm new here? We met on Monday. And on Tuesday and on Wednesday. Oh, nice to meet you. Right. It's so hard to remember other than just it was an extremely warm group of people. I mean, my gosh, we had we had so much fun. But now everybody was super awesome. Obviously they were already a really great crew and then Andrew and I came in and uh, everybody's super welcoming and we were we had our own inside jokes within probably probably the first episode. He's gonna be leader and there's nothing we can do to stop him. Psst. You girls wanna get even with Blair? <laughs> Duh! I have a plan. Wait, is this a dirty, sneaky, immoral plan? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and just even getting back together just now, I mean, we've been laughing already for the last yeah. half hour since we've, we've seen it's, each other. It's weird. It's bizarre. Yeah, because yeah, because we started laughing and all your laughs are so <laughs> Like, it brought me back. <laughs> 20 yeah. years ago when you guys started laughing, I'm like, fuck, their laughs haven't changed. Well, you have the, like, most, the most contagious laugh yeah, in the yeah. world. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. All right, so everyone's uh, online has been kind of asking John Carlo, like, yes. you don't rock the blonde hair anymore. I do not. Did they do that to you? They did do that to me. Okay. So I had to get that uh, hair bleached every, maybe every two months. For some reason, they, they wanted uh, spiky blonde hair, dude. Which is weird, because I think the part was actually written for you. Is that right? Correct um, me if I'm wrong. I auditioned the first year. I'm sure nothing was written for me, but I I, I, I did audition the first you year. I, yeah, nothing was written for me though. Okay, sure, sure. okay, okay. No, no, no. You're confusing me with Ryan Stick. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, 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 look at that. <laughs> he has the hair still. <laughs> so. I saw actually if George Goodwin older is there. You go. <laughs> Twenty years. You spike need to spike it, it up. Yeah. yeah. I. You know what? I didn't spike it today because I thought a that's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> And B, I literally ran out of product and can't afford more, which is also <laughs> pathetic. So <laughs> and see, I'm not beyond that. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, um, you uh, you were telling me on the way here. The thing is, I I have to I have to fake like not knowing things for authenticity. <laughs> like like oh Melissa, what's your <laughs> what's, what food do you like? <laughs> Melissa, you were telling me a really funny story about auditioning with Andrew Walker. I would like to thank the Academy and all the little people. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on a second there, Leonardo DiCrapio. <laughs> now, what if Ms. Atal picks me as leader? Yeah, or what if she picks me as leader? Yeah, or what if she picks me as leader? Yeah, what if she picks Morgan as leader? <laughs> I had auditioned with a few people. <laughs> Um, and that was, I thought, I remember thinking that was really exciting and, and the pressure of helping them get, have a good audition. And, uh, I remember thinking, oh my gosh, like he was on student bodies and there's this weird crossover. That's not the way she said it in the car. She, she, what did I say in the car? she used more colorful language. Well, she's like, oh my God, that's that hot guy from student bodies. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Of course. Come on, come on. I was like, oh my gosh, it's that dreamy guy from Aww. Student Body. <laughs> Thank him, obviously. I was wondering if maybe I could get a kiss. Why, well, sure. I'd be happy to. <laughs> and then he got the part, and then you came on the show, and it was just like immediate... It was so different than the, the yeah. two ca the actors the year before who were fantastic. Like Michael Yarmish and Vic Sahai are, are fantastic actors. And then you guys came in and it was it was completely different. And it was it was great. It was hilarious. It was yeah. your own thing. 
And I just was really impressed by that. Yeah, I agree. Now they brought something fresh and exciting. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we were really close friends, even with the Newcastle, with like uh, Andrew and Ryan. We, we just talked about this. I used to go over to his place and play Dreamcast. That's an old <laughs> video game system for you youngins. <laughs> Ryan, you're going to get root. Shut up, watch your pick. Uh, yeah, so I used to uh, go to your place, and, and Andrew, oh, yeah. I went to see him in LA, and uh, he put me up in his uh, oh, his apartment back then. Yeah, so he's a super super chill guy, super great guy, and Cindy and uh, and Melissa. I mean, we used to yeah, we used to get along super well. What are some of your favorite episodes that really come to mind? It's called uh, I don't know if you guys remember this Daydreams, where everyone's kind of daydreaming in class. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember and this so thing. it was like one big episode of <laughs> SNL because everything goes. I I don't even think the Roger Matic 2000 can bring things back from the dead. As a matter of fact, it can. It can? Fizz down! There was a fake soap opera, there was a fake infomercial, and it was so over the top. You were normal man. I am normal man. Normal man? You yeah, were a slightly that. unusual boy. <laughs> yeah. Slightly unusual boy, watch out! Too late. What? What is it? Gum. He stepped in some gum. Ah! Wow. I, I think we were cracking up, but uh, like we had a long we were info always and we cracking. were like we couldn't get one. We of were the feeding scene. each other. Yeah. Yogurt. Was that from that? Yes. Episode? There you go. We were, <laughs> we were like shoving each other. Each other. <laughs> yeah. 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 I never knew eating required so much hand-eye coordination. Oh, that's what you said about going to the bathroom, too. Why are we doing this? I don't remember. So let's just quit. All right? You first. Remember the episode where you threw an apple in the air and you oh, caught it in your yeah. hair? Yeah. They had yeah. to put they put like um like a thing with like a, a big like a oh, nail. Like a spike. Yeah. yeah. They bur they buried it inside. Yeah. One of the I remember that. <laughs> and I had to like launch it and get like there was no CGI back then. Or we couldn't afford it. <laughs> yeah, too, right. That's right. right. Uh, Blair, fancy a game of George Goodwin's <laughs> Deck of Doom. I thought Miss Tall banned those card game things. <laughs> she did, but I made these using a regular deck of cards. <laughs> Pick a card. Yeah, I mean, as an actor, I always try to bring something new and exciting to to the role. So I think, uh, like, I added the whole chob thing, the whole surfer. Uh, skateboard vibe to it. I don't think it was written like that. I kind of brought that in. And Jennifer Seguin, who she helped me a lot too. She's she great. was great. She's wonderful, Jennifer yeah. Seguin. Hi, Jennifer. It's Hi, Jenny. Um, She's like, yeah. I turned it off like 30 seconds before you gave that shout <laughs> And And Simon Peacock was in an episode as well. That's right, yeah. yeah. Corporal J.T. Murdoch from the 42nd. I'm one of your speakers for the day. Oh. Oh, of course. <laughs> I totally forgot. <gasps> That's all right. Everybody forgets about me. Apparently, I'm forgettable. That whole crew, Terrence and uh, yeah. the, oh. they were writing uh, episodes and Heidi and yeah. yeah. Shane. Really was it ever like weird to um, pretend you were still teenagers when you weren't teenagers? Because I feel like a lot of kids are in a rush to grow up and they all they want to do is, I can't wait till I turn 18. I can't wait till people take me seriously. Then you turn 20, you're like, okay, you're 16 again, go. <sighs> Wow. Not for me, no. Well, I mean, George George kind of is a teen, right? Like, it was kind of easy for me because he was kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't like to say that, but well, he was. He was, he was smart, he was, though. He was, yeah, no. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Why are you so happy? Because we're going to have a grammar seminar. Um, George, do you know what a grammar seminar is? No! It might have been harder for you guys, because you were a strong leader. Now, since when did we ever let old Atal beat us? Huh? Don't you guys get it? She's only doing this so that she can see us fail. Well, I say let's show her and pull this thing off, huh? Yeah! And you are like... Yeah, I, I didn't even capitalist. Think... <laughs> <laughs> Still, yeah. man. I, I, I didn't even think of it that way. I mean, like, I was 20. I looked like I was 15 or 16. And... You still do. Yeah, yeah we, all, we all. Salesman, that sounds good. What are you selling? Vacuum cleaner nozzles. <laughs> I, I didn't feel like, oh, we're not teenagers. Is this going to be believable? Because the show was its own... It, it was its own thing. Reality. It's only like a different reality. I cannot believe that he called me rather dog-like. 
it's fun. I mean, it's, it's yeah. just a goofy, wild, yeah. fun show. I mean, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. You know, on any episode, I might be wearing like a beanie and like some goofy dress or like, I, I mean, it could be really <laughs> anything going. So, I mean, it's like perfect for my kids who are in there, you know, and they're, they're seven years old. You know? It's like, hey, kids, high school's not going to be that bad. It's okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then you watch Freaks and Geeks and you realize, no, high school's going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like Adam Sandler and Billy Madison. I can't wait till I go to high school. <laughs> Don't you say that. Stay here. <laughs> Stay here for as long as happening? you can. <laughs> Cherish it. Uh, we had weird sets and we didn't have extras. It was so like the classrooms, it would it would pretty much look well, like this. we had two extras. Yeah, yeah two and extras. I, I told yes. people this story recently. They would go by the camera, <laughs> take off their sweater, and go back across the camera. <laughs> It was like the quietest school ever. Yeah. We had even made a joke about that in one of the episodes oh, that really? we couldn't, yeah, that we couldn't afford like 500 people or something. We looked straight into the camera. Oh my God. I remember that? Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> funny. That was good. Yeah, we didn't have a big budget. And we were working like crazy. We were doing what, two, two shows a week? Yeah. We were doing two shows a week, right? I think that's was it the best. Two shows a, was it two a week or was it like one a week except for one week a month it was two? Oh, I, yes. And there was a rehearsal. There were like yeah. two rehearsals and we'd shoot on either Wednesdays or Fridays. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe one, an episode maybe, in a day. Yeah. Technically, realistically, hypothetically, consciously, unconsciously, theoretically, academically, presumptively, subjunctively, out of the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get in a zone. That's a crazy thing. People, how do you memorize? I mean, you just, if, you, if you're practicing memorizing every week, an yeah. episode or two you just get into it that that was that, that was, was always insane. a lot of fun yeah. yeah yeah for three it was three months right the like the our no, work i think it was about three six uh, i would guess well, we did what 13 that. episodes in no, a season 26, 26 dude. yeah 26 yeah <laughs> you're how old you're now? You're one of them. George, if you cancel the workshop right now, we'll give you some bubblegum. <laughs> that might have worked on me before. But now that I know the effect that bubblegum has on our teeth, we won't be touching the stuff anymore. Will we, Frederick? That's right, George. Our teeth are our friends. <laughs> you were all no, over. No, I, I was away for one. I think that was my favorite episode because I actually had a break, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> 26, 26 episodes. episodes. So yeah, oh if we did, God. we did probably five a month. So yeah, I mean, I think it, yeah, it was yeah, about for five, sure. it was month, five yeah. months. And yeah, that's so yeah, rare in months. Montreal. That was, that's so rare in, in this city to have just like a, a nine to five kind of acting job, anything resembling a consistent acting job. So yeah. I was, I remember thinking like, I don't think many people have this opportunity. Oh my gosh. And we're so lucky and it's fun. But the show, the show was super popular and with student bodies, you had this kind of new uh, branch of tween humor, high school shows. And I'm surprised, like, with Fries With That, they did a little bit of that, but with, you know, you're in the workplace, mm -hmm. in which you, you know, now you play an older character. <laughs> of looking, Ben. Yeah, like, play, <laughs> so after, different. after playing a, a teenager, like, That's two right, years yeah. earlier. Was Fries With That three seasons? Fries With That was two. Okay. Yeah, we did two seasons of that. It was the same producers? It was the same producers, yeah. Yeah. I think there should be kind of like a student bodies versus radioactive movie. Like <laughs> student bodies v radioactive. Is Ross from from student bodies? Is he on, is he a weatherman? Yes. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. He's a weatherman. <laughs> Yesterday, there were strong storms, stronger than normal storms that moved across Ontario. I mean, that show, Student Bodies, I think opened a lot of doors for yeah. Montreal in general. Like when we arrived on the scene, everyone was comparing us to Student Bodies. And yeah. Student Bodies was almost like by the third season, they were almost like Canada's friends. Wake up on the radio, 8 o'clock yeah, Even yeah. the intro, it was this, the topics were more serious. Oh, come on, Flash. Not everybody who drinks is going to become an alcoholic like your mother. And ours was always campy, campy, campy. They were two different platforms. <laughs> I was so hungry. <laughs> and I'm thirsty. Oh. <laughs> no. Can't stop. Must keep. Working. Was there Big Wolf on campus? Yeah, yeah, Big Wolf on campus. Yeah. yeah, I yeah, yeah. I auditioned for that too. I, I was ah, so close to getting Merton Dingle. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. You'd yeah. be a great yeah. Merton. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was cool. So my so one year I auditioned for Merton Dingle. I auditioned maybe I auditioned for George Goodwin, um, and I didn't get either. I was I only got that the, that opportunity because I was doing stand up comedy, and then um, and then yeah, then the following year um, I got you know, like an episode of Big Wolf on Campus. I ended up doing a few episodes. 
Daisy Hansen. You shall be my bride and rule beside me as a queen. And then I got radioactive. That's amazing. And then I dropped out of university. But I went Yay. back, kids. I went back. <laughs> I'm going to act forever. It's cool. All right, so what, what would you say is the first time that people actually started recognizing you guys? I have, I've never been chased in a mall. Yeah, well, that, was, that was in Toronto. That was pretty funny. Wow. That was weird. You're yeah, Toronto. Not, not chased. But, I but a bunch of people up. came. You were with Cindy came. too, so it was like a double whammy, I think. We went for the White TV Awards. I remember that with Cindy. Tell me about that. I didn't know there were White TV Awards. Yeah, back then, yeah. The Yaw nomination wave is coming your way, so if you helped Grandma fix her tractor, started a shelter for homeless hippos, practiced the ukulele to perfection, or won the local yodeling contest, then we want you to nominate yourself or someone else who's great for the 11th annual White TV Achievement Awards. We were one of the hosts. Uh, well, not, not one of the hosts. We were one of the presenters for the award, which I can't remember what it was for because I was probably drunk. But uh, <laughs> the Yeah website at YTV.com. Fill out the form before November 5th and you could be on your way to Yeah 2000. I don't, I don't think I was chased, though, but I was, I was definitely recognized. I got free products, too. That was great. Was what? Like, yeah, they gave me free what? like I went I was like <laughs> your super thing. metro. <laughs> I was super metro and I needed my American crew like uh gel. Oh. And they just gave me a whole bunch of shit. Whoa. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, and Godiva. I got free chocolates. You got some swag there. I did. I got Dang, some nice swag. Mm -hmm. Only in Toronto and Quebec they're like, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and here's their peps in It's the true. <laughs> yeah, it was, like when you like Ottawa, Toronto, yeah. but like I felt like it was more, we were more recognizable. Oh, I'm talking for myself. West. In, yeah, in, in Ontario and, you know, I don't know, just everywhere outside of Montreal. Everyone thought yeah. that we filmed it in Toronto. No one knew that we filmed under the Jacques Cartier Bridge and uh, blah, blah, yeah. blah. They thought it wasn't from Montreal. So that kind of, I can see why. Yeah, that's right, right here, like two blocks now. I remember when I was dating, you know, around that time. And I mean, I got so lucky where I would get spotted while I was out on a date. Mm -hmm. Anyways, one time I'm, I'm, I'm in line for, the, for a movie. It's Cinema Guzo, I'm with this girl. <laughs> and we're there waiting in line. There's like a bunch of kids in front, you know, uh, like right in front of us, like four boys, maybe like 15 years old or whatever. And they're in a circle talking. So a couple of them are looking at me and they go, and, and one of them says to a guy whose back is to me, something like, uh, like he said something like that's the guy from radioactive but the guy didn't hear him correctly and he's and the kid the kid who's back to me went radioactive that show's so stupid <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> maybe it was me no <laughs> so so i start busting up and the girl i'm with start busting up and then he turns around and it was just a really really awesome moment that's just there yeah. oh, but you didn't tell a story i want to hear a story about you getting recognized i've never been recognized ah, except you know out. when i got recognized is when i was older in my regular joe jobs i've been recognized like walk, like i was telling you before i was walking on break this is like maybe two months ago and someone at the coffee shop where I work uh, literally got her friend to yell out, Morgan, or radioactive, or something. Because I don't know if Morgan, I'd necessarily go, yes, but like. <laughs> Could I maybe get you to sign this for me? Oh, George, what do you want my autograph for? You know me. You don't have to act like some fan off the street. Oh, no, I know, but still, uh, it would really make me happy if you signed right here. <laughs> okay, sure, George. What is this? The week's radio broadcast report. You uh, <laughs> forgot to sign it while you were being famous and all. I remember once I was walking on Prince Arthur Street and somebody, I, knew, I don't know if it was from stand up or from, but it was probably a radioactive one. Somebody yelled out, and I was with a girl at the time. It was awesome. <laughs> and somebody yelled out, Ryan Wilner, like my full name. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Like, who does that? That's that was awesome. really awesome. I was like, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. yeah, I only got free chocolates. <laughs> and gel. And I ate and the gel, gel and put the chocolate in my hair. It's a mess. Check out more episodes of You, Me, and YTV on Facebook and YouTube. Sweet one-of-a-kind interviews with PJ Fresh Phil, PJ Paul, Tarzan Dan, the cast of Student Bodies, the voice acting cast of Sailor Moon, and much, much more exclusively on Union YTV.